Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Jeremy. We're gonna have a quick video here. We're making some nylon bushings for a customer. Thought you might like to see it. It's very easy, not a high tolerance thing. It's gotta be four nine sixteenths long. We're gonna turn it, the material down a half inch and go in an eighth of an inch on each end. And we're gonna have a half inch hole drilled through it. Now, the only thing that can give you trouble with this nylon is when we're drilling, we're gonna to have to be very careful because it can, it likes to heat and then pinch the drill. And it will try to suck your drill and pull your drill further into the work. So you'll see that what I actually do is I'll keep my hand on the, the tailstock lock because my quill, it doesn't go this far. And you'll see me, you'll see the, the quill feed in and then all of a sudden I'll retract the entire tailstock before it begins to grab at that drill. And uh, otherwise you can have trouble. So here we go. We're gonna put in a new piece of material. face off, I'll take off like, you know, 10 thousandths off the end just to clean it. And I'm not really super concerned about going all the way to the center because we're going to drill through the center. So, now we're going to move over, eight of an inch. Five sixty-two and a half. Right now, I've got four point six take off 72,000 from the end.
Okay, now for the fun part. We get to drill it. Get sketchy, especially as you can't you maybe can't retract all the way. And it can, you know, this is just cleared for a bolt at the mill. There's a Forest Products mill nearby. But this could distort the bore. You know, if you had anything that was more important, you'd have to be careful. Yeah, see here, this is where it gets sketchy. I could flip it and drill it from the other side, but I don't want to. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push her in there. Take some faster, lighter cuts here. Now you're going to see me pull the tail stalk right back. See that? Try to grab it. It will. And we're through. Watch again for when I'm gonna release and go. And that's the end of the line. I showed you how to do a complete bushing. I had to make two of them. Another job out the door at Hilt's Machine Works. Thanks for watching.